Hello everyone, Veronica here with you yet again and it's a video, a grammar video in fact, for all those who are subscribed to Filichko's YouTube channel. Hey there Phil, still missing you, really should come to Katrinburg again. And we do actually read most of your comments that you leave, the positive ones, the negative ones and most importantly the ones where you tell us what you'd like to see. And fulfilling one of those requests, today I'd like to talk to you about the difference between two tenses which really get mixed up. It's the past simple, speaking of the past, and the present perfect in those cases when again we use it to talk about something in the past. So, let's get going with examples as always and I'm sure it'll be easy peasy by the end of this video. So, let's do it like this. Whoop. And here we're gonna have the past simple. And this will be for present perfect. We have actually done the videos for all the past tenses and all the present tenses that you can see in the playlist, but it's about the difference between these two. So, mainly, if it's past simple, it always answers the question when exactly some action happened, okay? So, you're bound to have some date. I don't know, in some year, okay, or last spring, or even the other day, or it cannot be mentioned, but people involved in the conversation all understand and this happened exactly at some point in the past, so we know when, yeah? Uh, another important thing is when you talk about something that totally finished, about dead people, for instance, you use the past simple. So whenever we talk about famous celebrity who has already passed away, all the achievements, all the deeds are usually in the past simple. So we can actually put it dead people. <laughs> Not very positive, but it's a rule. And here, present perfect, as you guys remember, it can be anything that happened at some point in the past before now, but we have a very important result on the present. Yeah, that's why the formula is have or has plus the third form of the verb, because we possess, we actually have something linked to the present here. Oh, before I forget, the formula here is just the second form of the verb, ed ending for regular verbs, but you guys all know that. So, here we often also have the words that help us determine that we are talking about all life in general. It's not so important for us when something happened, but that it did, in fact, happen at some point, and it's somehow linked to our present condition. So, it can be, you know, ever, or never, just, already, yet. All these words, they definitely determine this grammar. And also, when you don't mention at all when it happened. You just say that you have had that in your life. So, let's go with some examples. Um, I have jumped with a parachute a few times in my life. That's another thing. It can be answering the question how many times you've done something in your life. But, once I'm starting to go deeper into the story, I would be like, so I jumped in 2009, I think it was, for the first time. 
So once we start speaking about exactly when, you go to the past simple. Very often, a conversation would start with present perfect. Oh, have you ever tried Chinese food? Yeah, sure, I have. And then you go on to the past simple. So when was it last time? Or what did you have? Things like that. Yeah, because this grammar is a bit easier than this lengthy one. What else? Um, something like, she has never uh, liked him, although he maybe has thought otherwise. So see, we're talking about something that did take place in the past, but we're not determining when, so it's better to use present perfect. They are not mistakes as such, I'd say, not the grave ones if you mix these two, but still, I'd recommend that you make your own examples, at least with these basic determiners, yeah? And then actually create some short dialogues to get an idea when you are actually going to be using most of, both of these tenses in your life. So good luck with that. Thank you guys for watching and please, please leave comments about what you want to see in the future videos. Thank you. Bye-bye.